Here we are moments after I ended the previous video when I had just come to the grim decision that I need to go back to my original base, which is really far away. And actually, let me see how empty I can make my inventory because I want to bring these oxygen generators with me and a couple of oxygen candles. I'm going to throw that in the garbage. Um, I want to keep my tools with me probably just in case. I don't know. I'll keep, uh, I guess I'll eat this food. No, I just transferred the food. I guess I'll eat this food. Uh, I'm a little thirsty. Is there water in here? There's ice in here. Let me craft myself some water real fast. Got a bunch of water back at base. All right, we'll drink this. We'll throw this like weasel burrito out into space because who cares? And then, okay, let's figure out. What, I think, I think that is my nearest recharge station. There's like other stuff around there that might be interesting too. There's just the tough thing about an exploration-heavy game like this, with like you know, oxygen to keep track of is the fact that I want to explore a lot of places, but I find them all intimidating. Because I'm like, well, what if I die? Actually, save. There, that's what happens if I die. Okay, I'm gonna take a slightly roundabout route to get to this first oxygen station, because I am curious if there's anything in this giant box. Jingle Bigo says, I, I feel like finding and opening 200 coffins could be really frustrating. Yes, that's why I, I reject the idea that that's actually what they're going to make me do. Like, this game has screwed around with me enough when it comes to things like coffins. Okay, oh wait, this bot this is where I came from. I forgot about that. This is an oxygen station, effectively, because this room fills up your breath. Okay, so, we've got this room. Cool, cool, cool. So... I could drop by this one, but I think it's not necessary. I think I can make it to the one that's 600 away. So let's go to that one next. We'll refill our breath there. And then, yeah, I don't know how many stops we're gonna have to make on the way back home. Ugh, now it's time to just chill and relax, I guess. <laughs> Oh, this is a uh, good time probably to read the chat. Yeah, Ranathcord uh, points out that yeah, it, the, the reason they would they made it 200 was probably because they deliberately wanted it to be ridiculous, so that most players would understand that it's not that it's not real. Because if because he suggested like 20 would probably have been the worst, because you could imagine there really being 20 coffins, and you could think at that point. Oh, wow. I guess this is my life now. I guess I'm opening 20 coffins. And, uh... And just quit the game. <laughs> um, so I might have estimated this poorly. I don't feel like I'm getting close enough to that fast enough. I might actually have to burn an oxygen candle. Dang it. Okay, well, good to know. Okay, yeah, this had barely. Now, this is just slightly in the wrong place. Oh, you know, okay, okay, I probably would have just barely made it. But if I overshot it, I would have had a problem. Okay, well, so I know I can make that. It's just really hard. And then... Okay, so which... So I guess this is the closest one? These other ones are kind of close enough to each other. It's hard to tell which was the best one to target. Which one's going to be, you know, closest to my original base. And it looks like I don't have an icon on my original. I think they're actually intentionally suggesting to me that that new place is my new base by putting the icon on it and not on the old one. So I actually don't know how easy it's going to be to find my original base without the icon on it. Hello, Range Blaze. Thanks for joining us. We're just peacefully drifting through space, slowly asphyxiating. <laughs> We've got a goal to um, open 200 coffins. That's a silly goal. We don't think it's real. 
Um, but we think we might have to open at least a few coffins to make its unreality clear. So, just headed to this oxygen station that I placed so that I can breathe again. Alright. Oh, there's a bunch of wiring and stuff here. So much breathing. Ah, oh, I love breathing. It's great. Nothing else here is cool. Alright. So I think my ship is like that direction. I think it was up. It's not it is convenient that they that they enforce an up in this game. Um I think that, that right there, I think I'm targeting my airlock. I am so curious about that. I don't know. I don't remember what that is. But, okay, here we go to the airlock. Then we'll pick up as much garbage as we can from my base. And bring it back. Unfortunately, it seems like making multiple trips would actually be really hard. Uh, okay, whatever. Why do you need a new spacesuit? I'm better than any new spacesuit. I recommend just upgrading the current equipment. For example, paint the helmet. I'm sure it will help. What? Helmet covered with paint? Will give me more radiation protection. Okay, the thing I'm missing there, I've got most of that stuff except glass is really hard to come by. How did they... Okay, so I'll need to find a place where I can get more glass. I mean, if I could get into that, if I could break this bottle. Um... Oh, I've got so much stuff in here. So much stuff. Some of it's useful, some of it's not. But like, for instance, I have so much food. So many oxygen candles. Much of alcohol I don't know what to do with. And scissors for when my shears die. And I feel like I need to bring my pee with me. Because that's the kind of game this is. But then what about all of this? <laughs> I mean, uh, right? Am I making multiple trips? I might be making multiple trips. <laughs> uh, sigh. All right, here we go. Oh, wait, but while I'm here, no, 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 no. There's coffins here. That's right. That's the other thing I came back for. Coffins. Coffins, coffins, coffins. Grimace says, replace the spacesuit. You can get a new narrator. <laughs> That's honestly really tempting. What? Okay. I swear I've seen coffins around here. Hold on. I just realized I started taking off in the wrong direction, not thinking about where coffins might be. Okay, coffins. Coffins are red. See some redness over here. Oh no, that's just that video game joke. Um, is there a coffin over here? Barrels and stuff. Where else can I look? Well, back to my base first off, but then after that, man, I want to upgrade my suit so that I can travel faster for longer and go further without suffocating. 
So just in case whatever I find takes up inventory space, I should probably carry a little bit less. I know I've seen multiple coffins out here. Like, the coffin joke was already made. I wish I could just bring suitcases with me. I've got three paint. I could easily get more. Okay. I'm kind of tempted while I'm... You know what? While I'm here, I am kind of tempted. You don't need to bring all this food with me. Um... Let's go, let's go get some paint. Maybe we'll find a coffin along the way. And yeah, like if I can upgrade my helmet. So they say helmet covered in paint. I'm betting there's going to be some kind of joke where I can't see through my visor if I do the helmet covered in paint. Um, we'll see if that's true. There is something about, to be said about sort of the, uh, the sense of, of, um, exhaustion that I feel whenever I talk about how, okay, well, this next thing is probably just a joke. <laughs> you know? Uh, there is a real game under here, though. I know there is. Grimace points out, you know, if this game had creepier music and no humor, you'd be a space ghoul with no other changes. <laughs> the power of atmosphere. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Hmm. Alright, so I've yeah, so there were tanks here that I could drill to get paint. I wonder, how did I get that blueprint? Was it from the babe message? Hard to be sure. I, okay, that, I think that's a new question mark. That's not, that's not the piano anymore. Thing is running low. Okay, I think I already opened this tank. But did I open this one? Yep. What about this one? That's the other end. What? Okay. Aha. Okay. And then while I'm here. Oh, no, not a thing. I'm 50% breath now. Let's, um. I mean, while I'm here, lead is also hard to come by. Lead balls are trying to escape. 34 breath. Okay. Let's head back. At least to the oxygen station. I know. All right. Let's charge this up. All right, I kind of want to look around just a little bit more. There's some barrels and things. I don't know what might be out here. I mean, I guess it's not going to be anything revolutionary, right? Because I found this a couple sessions ago. It's not going to suddenly change my life. I am curious about that barrel over there, though. And again, you never know when you might need more, some, more of something like lead. Thank you. 
first. Oh. Never mind, we're done. Alright. Headed back. Grimace says, I wonder how much the music will change as you get closer to the arrest this game started with. Yeah, so for those who were not here for the first session, you actually start, it's one of those, like, you know, flashback stories where you start at the end where something weird is happening, and then you go to the beginning and say, oh, this is how it all started. So uh, at the beginning of the game, I was being interrogated by robotic coffins? Um, it was weird. <laughs> yeah, so I am curious what that's going to be. <laughs> How I'm going to get from here to there. Grimace says, watch me get arrested for opening so many coffins. <laughs> Notice I did not find a single coffin on this trip. So, there we go. Uh. Is there a coffin in this? Because, now, this is like a smuggler's ship. And so, story-wise... There's no reason for them to have coffins. This is where I use the eyeball. Okay, so now we'll head back. I'm pretty sure I can just make a beeline directly for my old base. And then we're gonna go back on the coffin hunt, I guess. Jedi Psych Trick says he's trying to see dead people and failing at it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would be surprised if I look back in the in the chat here and find out that Cloudcraft has been yelling at me for 10 minutes that I missed a coffin. Um, <laughs> but. I covered that ground surprisingly quickly. How far away was that? Oh, that was... Oh, yeah, 281. Okay, I thought I thought it was from, like, 600 away. I was like, wait, that can't be right. Um, all right. So, what... Okay, first I need, I need a new scrapper, which means I need metal, right? Metal. Not in there. I've got two metal already. Let's grab some more. And then... Where did I keep... Where did I keep the paint? Was it in... Was, ah, ah. was it in here? Yes. Okay. Do I have everything in my inventory that I need to make this fancy helmet? Oops. Oh, right. I still need glass. All right. So let's make sure that I bring enough aluminum and plastic with me that this is possible. Um, here's the plastic. Salt? I don't know. What else am I unlikely to have enough of at the new place? Alkali. That's hard to come by. I just found a bunch of rubber over there. I should bring another oxygen generator with me. Um, I was low on water. Uh, just ignoring the babe because I just deciphering what she says is just not even fun. <laughs> um, Oh yeah, let's bring some more lead and some alcohol, just because I don't know what it's for. Okay, so I think we're headed back. Except, you know what? Along the way, let's, let's bring less of sort of the cheaper, easier to get stuff with me. Because maybe I should take another crack at getting some glass. Because glass is what I'm missing. Oh, I should also make another scrapper tool. There we go. All right. So yeah, I should make sure there's enough room in my inventory. 
Let's grab this. Um, I want to bring a little bit of metal with me just in case. I can just eat some food and drink some water. Oh, wait. That's not eating and drinking. That's eating and drinking. But yeah, I think on the way... Okay, so we're going to bring some of this lead and the paint and resources we normally wouldn't... Uh, taking up too much space with these tools. I need so many different tools. And I'm also paranoid with the oxygen generators. But that's taking up a lot of space. And actually, the more trips I take back and forth, the more I'm going to need oxygen generators. They're kind of... Um, yeah. Okay, so we're going to wander... We're going to see if there's any coffins in the immediate vicinity. If not... Oh, wait. This place has freezing danger. Oh, wait. There's a coffin, though. This is one of the places I saw a coffin. Come on, just a little more. Do it before you realize that these mechanics are just artificially prolong the gameplay. Yeah, okay, they're doing that sort of meta humor thing with this. So, I mean, the problem is I got the joke as soon as I saw it. I don't want to actually walk through the whole joke. <laughs> There's only so much mileage you can get out of, like, fourth wall breaking self-referential humor talking about the developers. Like, that can be fun a little bit, but it also can be, like, it can get real tiresome over time. Okay. Yeah, so it does look like this coffin searching thing is gonna they're gonna milk this for a while I guess is this a no thought maybe it was a coffin sticking out from behind something is there anything over here or up here it is interesting to notice how they're using their durability system like a tool that you have very few uses for. I don't, know, I don't know. It's like, for instance, if they had me using the scrapper to open the coffins, the fact that I can use the scrapper on everything else means that I would have to be afraid of, of running out of durability before I had opened all the coffins. Um, why am I picking up all this stuff? I don't know. I'm stupid. Um... But because they actually gave me a new tool whose only purpose is to open coffins, I don't have to worry about it running out of durability before I've opened all the coffins I'm supposed to open. It has only the one purpose, as far as I can tell. Okay, so I just grabbed a bunch of stuff I don't need. Let's put some things back. I guess I don't need both of these drills. I'm just, like, I'm going to run out of drill real fast, and then I'll want the other drill. <laughs> And I want to bring at least one pair of scissors in case I run out of shears. Alkali and lead are rare. Plastic, I don't know how much there is. That paint, I'm about to use a ton of paint on something. And I don't know what, what these two were for, but I didn't see any at the new location. So I want to bring them with me. Fabric I know I've got there. Salt I think is just for food. I know I opened up a bunch of rubber. So, okay. This is probably good supplies to take off with. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna no longer take the coffin thing seriously. Let's start heading back towards... Towards my new base. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, is that a new coffin? Holy crap. Okay, fine. Open this coffin. What the heck? Yes, my game is licensed. Oh, that's adorable. Data acquired, but its analysis will take about three days. 
Ah, nope. Three seconds are enough. Apparently, the captain's bridge damaged the tank with mayonnaise on the port side of the liner. The mayo got pulled into the core's gravitational field, which increased its mass and decreased its activity. Bombarding the core with other similar debris may lead to a further decrease in its activity, probably. What's left to do is find something with similar properties to mayo and not kill yourself in such experiments. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, so... I'm supposed to... What the... Calibrate the radiation sensors a bit. You'll be able to get much closer to the liner, and we'll assume that you are not exposed to radiation at all. Okay, what? Okay. So, okay, so... I need to lower the radiation somewhere, I guess? Speaking of Norman, using mayonnaise? Your interlocutor has already mentioned this shuttle with survivors. It would be nice to find it before you actually destroy everyone. I will mark several interesting places that I found through the COPPA notification system. Okay, so we've got some places to investigate over there. If you want to open more coffins, there's a chance that I'll be able to detect new, potentially useful debris, while my anti-vandal program scares you with criminal liability. So Cloudcraft is asking, have I seen a, a reason why they have so many different tools? Um... Thanks to your torture, oh. I oh my gosh, this guy. Breath Edge data protection protocol, but oh. also entirely by accident. I repeat, entirely by accident. Cracked the data block, which I had insufficient privileges to access. From the information gathered, I can conclude that the agency coffins not only transmit information about obstacles, but also exchange strange encrypted data packets. Unfortunately, even when threatened with a drill, I wouldn't have enough power to decrypt it. You would need some military equipment here. I don't care what he said. Uh, <laughs> so... There's got to be... Okay, yeah, there is... Okay, anyway. So, yeah, there are a lot of different tools, right? I've got... And, and there are a few that I use very, very infrequently. Like, the grabber. There's, like, a couple of things. Like, I needed it to get alkali, and I needed it to get resin, which are both very rare materials. And so, basically, I have to carry around this grabber that takes up two slots in my inventory j just in case I run into one of those things. It just occurred to me that I was going to find more glass here, and I completely forgot to do that. Okay. Turning back around. Of course, I just realized that turning around when you had thrusters the first direction and maybe not have, maybe won't have them the second direction might not be the smartest move. Yeah, Jedi Psychtrix, he said something about mayonnaise. I don't know. Don't don't ask me what this game is talking about sometimes. <laughs> like, the mechanics are fun. I just like I am getting very tired. Very tired of its voice. I know. I know the oxygen is un isn't unlimited. Let's get here. Okay, we're refill the oxygen. And then What the What? Come back. Did it just like fart away like a balloon? Why? Okay, we're gonna save. And then I'm gonna head towards the ice ball again, which I believe is where I found glass last time. I still don't have any kind of technology that will prevent me from freezing. But I was able to find glass here at one point. And so I'm kind of hoping I can do it again. And if I do, it'll be worth the oxygen that I'm burning. It's like little chunks of stuff, but I think it's mostly ice. As soon as I completely freeze up, I'm going to be blind. I'm not going to be able to see anything. Aha. Oh, right. It needs the grabber. Crap. Oh, that's the other thing the grabber's for. Okay. Uh, for. Collect. Collect. No, collect. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get out of here while we can still see. Five, three, four. I think the three is what I want. Okay, let's get out of here. Probably... Gonna need to burn a candle. What am I saying probably for? Definitely gonna need to burn a candle. 
but I think I got around the ice ball. I think as soon as I clear the freezing zone, I'm going to recover. I think. Okay. Come on. I don't want to use another candle. I want to get here. Okay, cool. I am probably going to have to use another... Use like an oxygen recharging device. Whew. Okay, we did it. 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 And we never want to do it again. So, save. So I think the intent was for me to get those other two pieces of glass the first time, but I was just so desperate that first time I couldn't pull it off. So anyway, we were talking about the grabber and the fact that I have to carry it around because what if, for instance, I have to fly directly into like a freezing thing that's gonna ice up my my helmet, make it impossible for me to see, probably die, and at the very last moment, I'm gonna suddenly find out I need a grabber. Like, so I have to keep a grabber in my inventory. And that's true, of, so I've got the grabber, I've got the magnetic key, I've got the drill, I've got the shears, I've got the scanner, I've got the, you know, hammery, scrappy thing, I've got the repair tool, which I haven't even found a use for yet, but I'm sure it's got a very important one. Um, I have to keep all of these things in my inventory, so they're just slowly filling up my inventory and making it harder and harder for me to carry other things. And I'm not sure I love that, actually. Um, and they, they each take up two slots, too, which make which sort of adds to the... sort of the tension of, like... Because it feels like... I mean, the, when you're designing a system like this, what you want the player to be doing with it is saying like oh wow i have to decide what i'm going to bring with me you know i don't you know i need to make you know strategic decisions about how i'm going to equip myself because i've got limited inventory the problem the, the reason why i think it doesn't work as well in this game um is the fact that you might need any of your tools at any time and it's unpredictable um like if I get to the point of the game where I really am just going on very, like, targeted, dedicated runs to get specific things, and I know exactly what I'm getting, then sure, on those trips, like, say, if I'm going out to mine aluminum, maybe I just bring a drill with me, because that's all I need, and I know I just, you know, the drill will be enough to get me all the aluminum, and there we go, we're good. Except that, because my breath is so limited, those runs are very short, and so, and, and very frequent, like, I do them a lot, and then I, you know, I'm constantly going out and in and out and in and out and in. And so if I was changing up my tool loadout every time I did that, based on what I was going out to get, that would be a lot of uh, annoying inventory management. I wouldn't want to do it. Um, and and so, yeah, so, so they're basically, they're, they're, this game doesn't really offer me a scenario where I would enjoy the strategic process of like deciding what tool to bring with me when um, that management doesn't sound like there's like a because if it was like you know I was going to equip myself for an hour long session and and I could reliably say okay yeah if I bring these tools with me I'll be fine for my entire plan uh, for this session that would be great you know as a, 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 a system like this could be cool because then I could have to like you know it's fun to sort of do that kind of problem solving and figure out, you know, what it is I want to bring with me and how I want to use my, my limited resources. But here, because I'm taking very short runs, and so if I had to change up my inventory all the time, it would be really repetitive, and I don't want to do that. Basically, it makes me want to just keep with me everything that I could possibly need at all times so that I never have to go back and change my inventory after I run into something. And because, you know... I can't really predict what I'm going to need. Like when I go to a place, I don't know what resources I'm going to find there and what tools I'm going to need to extract them when I'm exploring. Yeah, I don't, I don't get to engage with it in that clever way. And so it, it feels like the game might have benefited from having there be a special place in my inventory that doesn't have the same space constraints um, where I can just keep all of my tools and just say like, oh yeah, once you've unlocked a tool, you've just unlocked it. In fact, making you not even like dealing with the durability on tools and having to carry extra tools when they're low on durability. The fact that I have two drills in my inventory, you know, like that's because of the, of the durability system. I could see them 
deciding, you know what, you just, when you unlock a tool, you've just unlocked the ability to extract this thing. And then you just interact with whatever it is your is in front of you. And if you've unlocked the tool, we just use that tool and poke the thing. And, you know, and sometimes we unlock humorous tools and you keep surprising yourself. Like, oh yeah, I forgot that I use a chicken to get, you know, whatever corn out of muffins or something. I don't know. But like, you know, they, they could come up with some like humorous and surprising interactions that way by having the interaction you're going to do when you arrive at a thing be kind of, you know, unpredictable a little bit. That could be really neat. Like there's, there's a lot of potential there. And I feel like there's probably maybe some missed potential because I end up being annoyed at the system for making me give up so much valuable inventory space rather than being a as entertained by it. Cloudcraft says, uh, if I remember correctly, you've, you've had access to most of these tools for most of the game, correct? Because it would make sense for them to be progression gates. But my initial impression is that they're not getting a, lot out, uh, getting a lot out of using them as gates. So some of them have been gates. So look, early on in the game, the first four things that you got, the drill, the shears, the scrapper, and the grabber, you got them all really fast. And each of them was a gate, but they were a very short, limited gate. And now they're just things that I have to have in my inventory all the time. Um, okay, so did I save... I wanted to save because if this helmet is just a joke, I don't want to have wasted a bunch of equipment uh, equipment on it. So, okay. Aluminium. I think that I have got that in here. Do I? Yes. Let's make this new helmet. Okay. Then... Yep, it's a joke. <laughs> the radiation level is much lower. That's great. I'll give you directions. Fly to the left. Or to be more precise, to the right. Your other right, which is at the top. Okay, that was a bad idea. Yep, that was a joke. I mean, it's cute. I'm glad that I anticipated it was a joke so that I could then go back and uh, not have done it. Um, <laughs> Z-Man the Killer this game is about developers wanting to make you laugh about how annoying uh, survival games are <laughs> uh, alright so now now what do I want to do it says lower radiation and it, I've got a bunch of question marks out there that are all really, really freaking far away. So it looks like my next step is going to be... Well, let me... Actually, my next step is... Let's get some of this garbage out of my inventory. Okay, you know what? I am going to drop this drill now that I'm going to stay close to it. Let's put all of this stuff that I just brought because whatever away. I'll keep one oxygen generator in case I run into a weird emergency situation. Um, drop all this stuff. That seems like a reasonable set of things to keep with, keep with me. At some point I'm going to need to harvest some more ice to make water, but I'm pretty sure that's not too bad. In fact, why don't I go out and make sure that's not too bad. I think there's some ice right here. Yay, ice. Is there any more ice? I feel like I saw a little one, but maybe maybe that was one of the ones I just grabbed. Oh, that one's not that far away. Let's, gra let's grab some metal just to make sure that I don't run out of scrapper. And then we'll go look at that first place over there. That's what we'll do. Because we're not quite out of time yet. But I didn't want to, I don't want to start on one of those really long trips this session. All right, that's enough to make another scrapper if I need to. Let's head back, recharge our oxygen, and then head out towards that question mark and see what's there. Fine. Out of nostalgia for Subnautica, grabbing some titanium. Okay, 
right, so there... Okay, I already had a bunch of metal. I was trying to remember if I had a bunch of metal. Looks like I do. And I've got another magnet, too, for if I need to remake this magnetic key. Wow, I've already filled two containers. And there's still a bunch of stuff back at base that I didn't even bother to get, so... Cool. Including a ton of food. Like, if I ever get hungry, I should just head back to my original base. Okay, let's go out there. Find out... What is at this place? That's only, like, 300 away. I think I can make that. It is weird, though, like how it's hard to tell that you're making progress towards something until you get really close to it, and, and its apparent motion relative to you is enhanced, you know, by your proximity. Like, it just feels like I'm going nowhere. Alright, what is in here? Such tubes are usually installed in the liner's service modules, where they cut down expenses on artificial gravitation. Scan. Do I have a scanner? I do. Oh. Oh. I just got a blueprint for a tube. I think that's for base building. Are these question marks marking things that I can use to build my base? Because that is a part of this game. I have not gotten to that part of the game yet. But building a base is absolutely a part of this game. Oh my gosh. Can I get there? I just I just don't want... I don't want to burn a candle for a tube. Don't make me burn a candle for a tube. I mean, my health is going to run out. Am I, I going to die instantly? Or am I just going to start slowly choking to death? Okay, my health is going down, but... There we go. Okay, okay, I made it. It's fine. It's fine. Totally fine. So what? Tell me about this tube. Okay, I don't think it appears here. I think that because it's part of base building, it doesn't appear on this list. It's somewhere else. Yay, I've got achievements. Okay. Objects, stations, vehicles? I haven't discovered any vehicles yet. I'm trying to figure out where it could tell me more about this. Uh, not here. So many things. Engineering space. What? Protection from fire and cold. Okay, so they're telling me about other space shoots that I can uh, apparently eventually build. But I don't know how to... I mean, until I have, find the blueprints, I don't know what to do about it. Unless... Maybe the... Cause I remember running into cases where I needed to scan something, but I didn't have a scanner yet. Maybe there are spacesuits on people that I can find out there in the world that I can scan to then craft their style of spacesuits. Maybe that's why those handcuffs are still there. Maybe I need to scan the guy who's handcuffed and impaled on that bed? And that's how I'm going to get some special kind of spacesuit. I could see that being the case. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not going back there right now. Because, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. So, these other question marks are super duper far away. I'm assuming they must be... I mean, I can probably carve a path out there using the equipment I currently have. Um, is this one I've already scanned? Hold on. Oh, right. You also need to equip the thing. 
empty. Okay, yeah, so I think that's going to be useless to open the coffins. So I don't know if this magnetic key is going to do something else, or if it really is just for the coffin joke. Is it just for the coffin joke? If it is, I want to leave it out. If it's for more than the coffin joke, I want to keep it. Ah! Okay, so... I guess... Next session... Maybe I'll start working my way towards those question marks? And just see if I can find something in that direction that's going to help me? I don't know. I don't know. The tank suggests there might be scannable suits in the coffins. Maybe. So far, it hasn't seemed to be that. Um, PJ uh, Dat Damage 1963 asks, will you be able to get vehicles running? It seems like yes. That is the impression I've been getting. Is that this game does have vehicles. It's just... Man. It's taken some time to get through this initial kind of you know, sequence of of sort of exploring the early areas and slowly building up my equipment and my capacity to, to build stuff. And it does feel like, I mean, they are making fun of themselves with the, you know, crap imposed by the developers, the 200 coffins. They are kind of making fun of themselves for the fact that this game is made out of, you know, arbitrary obstacles put in my way that I need to climb over. Uh, and that's actually, yeah, that, that, that is something about the, um, the, the, the different tools, right? It's like each of them is an obstacle that they decided to make me climb over. And... There's a certain amount of patience that players will have for that. And I think that seven steps might have been a little much for me at this stage in the game. I'm not sure how many more of these they're going to give me over time. Um, but I do feel like I have a lot already. At the same time, though, so like Grimace keeps reminding me, this game is also pretty cool. Like, like, like you know, you're seeing me hit sort of one of the... I think there's a little bit of a wall here where I'm like, oh man, that distance, it's so far. I'm going to have to build so many oxygen stations between here and there to get there and you know maybe there's free oxygen over there but i don't know i have to prepare like there's not and it's kind of filling me with like anxiety and like oh man am i gonna have to do this and so there is a potential wall here like this might have been a good place to i don't know give me something like a vehicle or a, a, a faster acceleration or something that would extend my range so that I could, you know, feel more confident jumping some of these distances. Because right now that looks horrific. But at the same time, I keep... There have been other times where I felt like something looked scary. And then when I did it, it actually turned out to be much cooler than I anticipated. And Grimace is correct to keep reminding me. This game so far has actually been really, really cool. <laughs> and so, um, like, like, the things that I actually do discover when I actually find out how it works... A lot of it has been really, really great. And so I don't want to just, you know, the fact that you're watching me go through my some of my, like, ugh, phase emotionally with this game doesn't mean that I've sort of, that that's the final verdict on, 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 on the experience. It's just one aspect of it, you know? Ah, okay, here we go. Um... I guess for right now, though, I think I think I've probably finished my next session. Uh, so let's let's put an end to this session right now. Uh, I'll probably go. I'll move on and play some Subnautica here live on the stream uh, to sort of because I've, I've I've got some other goals in that game that I also want to get to, especially because the sequel's coming out soon and I need to make some progress. So uh, let's wrap up this session. Uh, if you want to subscribe to my channel, you can. And uh, if you know if I play more Breath Edge in the future. Maybe you'll be right there. Uh, I might try to play some on my own because I'm anticipating it taking a while. We'll have to see.